Well, this is a good luck, isn't it? <laughs> You guys, it is mind-numbingly cold out today. My car says three degrees, but my weather app says it feels like negative nine. <sighs> Hopefully you can see my breath. <sighs> I don't know if that shows up on camera. Can, can it show up on camera? Anyway, I am in my very warm coat. This is my H&M. Um, it's like a long puffer, but it's like faux leather. It's super cute, very warm. Uh, I'm letting my car warm up right now. <laughs> so I was like, me as well chat with the vlog. So um, I actually just wrapped up my last vlog. Um, I worked out this morning. I haven't showered yet because I have some errands to run and I just like, I'm feeling good. I kind of just wanted to get out and go, but I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid stinky or nothing. Okay, so I have a lot of stuff to do. Shoot, I left it inside. I'm gonna have to go back inside. I need to, I never got to mail out my Depop orders, so I'm gonna run inside and grab those. Um, I also need to go pick up my contacts and I need to uh, go to the grocery store. I think I'm just gonna buzz over to Whole Foods. Um, Cause we don't need like a lot of things. I have a list here. Avocados, paper towels, grated Parmesan, milk and bread. Very basic items. Um, and Whole Foods has our favorite bread, so. All right, hold on. I gotta go get the Depop orders. I gotta go mail the Depops. All right, I got my big bag of orders. I'm off to whew, the post office. All right. All set, got a bunch of tracking numbers that I gotta enter on. Oops. Gotta enter all of these on Depop so people can track their order. Oh God, y'all, it is, I can't get over how cold it is today. That guy has on just a sweatshirt. I saw, I do, I sound like an old person. <laughs> Aren't you cold, Sunny? All right, Whew. the mask actually keeps you nice and warm. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna go grab my contacts. I've been contemplating LASIK, but here's the thing, and I would love to hear from you if you've had LASIK. I have very sensitive eyes when my contacts are not in. I know, it's weird. If I put on makeup, which is like rare nowadays, but if I put on makeup when I don't wear my contacts, like it's a glasses day, my eyes are sensitive to everything. Like if I cut an onion with my contacts out, like burning, dripping. If I have my contacts in, my contacts are like a shield and like they don't have sensitivity at all when I have my contacts in. So I'm afraid if I have LASIK that like my life is just gonna be really difficult because I'll be so sensitive all the time without my contacts in. I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but that's my experience. Um, Yar and I have actually the same, <laughs> the same exact eyeglass prescription, um, which is hilarious. I've shared it before, but that's why I think we're soulmates. <laughs> um, like we can share glasses and contacts. He's contemplating LASIK as well, but I just, I don't know. I feel like it would be kind of a hot mess for me. <laughs> okay, I just grabbed my contacts. These are the ones I get from my ophthalmo ophthalmologist, optometrist, some like that. Um, the Alkaline Dailies Total One. These are the best um, that I can find for myself. The, the other ones I used to use made my eyes really dry, so they recommended these. They're more expensive, but they are the only ones that don't make my eyes like crazy dry. Oh my God, like I just, the LASIK is just sounding more and more appealing. <laughs> now we are at Whole Foods. <laughs>
As you can see, I just went ahead and showered and blow dried my hair. This one attachment has honestly become like all I need. <laughs> um, I use this like every time. This is the Dyson Airwrap and this is what the attachment looks like, but I can kind of like curve to get that nice kind of flipped under look, but it literally takes me like 10 minutes. I love the way it comes out. Oh wait, I forgot. <laughs> Got to start with the fact that I'm trying that new self tanner, which is why I look like this. The tanner always just looks so intense before it like washes off and develops because it has like bronzer in it and stuff, you know, it's like you put it on and you have the tan. But um, I shared in a vlog or two ago, I got a new self tanner from Amazon and it's an express tan. It's like sweat resistant, skin firming. I don't know. Clearly I'm back on the self tanner grind. It's supposed to have like stuff in it that's good for your skin. So um, I'm leaving it on. You can leave it on for one, two or three hours for depth. So I have another hour and a half to leave it on and then I will wash it off and I'll probably update you guys tomorrow, TBH, because um, it's not gonna finish developing tonight. So I will wash it off tonight and report back tomorrow. It's four o'clock now and I'm probably gonna go ahead and start cooking dinner in a little bit. I had like a late breakfast slash early lunch and I'm getting hungry for dinner. And we have um, another half of the movie. We started last night for Movie Monday. It was my pick and I wanted to watch a comedy. So I picked Death at a Funeral. It's one of my like OG favorite comedies with Chris Rock, Martin Lawrence. It has just like a killer cast um, and Yar had never seen it and I haven't seen it in like at least five years. It came out in 2010, which is like mind blowing to me, uh, but we only watched half last night because we got tired. So we're gonna watch the second half tonight. Um, but if you haven't seen it, it's pretty darn funny. Anyway, I will check back in about the tan uh, tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. I am so happy to report that the self tan is a hit. It is super pretty. I love the color. I just did my new face and my face looks kind of shiny, but it is so good. It, I love the way it looks. I love it. Like the color is so pretty. I didn't have any splotching um, and even some parts on my back. It didn't come out like a line, <laughs> like it like faded. Anyway, it just looks perfect. So I definitely recommend, and I think it's, hold on, let me see. Um, I think it's cheaper than my usual. Yeah, it's $10 less than my usual Saint Tropez Express. Um, so yeah, I will link the Amazon self tanner. Chef's kiss, I love it. Um, and I love that it was an express tan too. Yeah, just did my new face. Um, I'm so sore from working out yesterday. Like there was some squat movements and like my inner thighs, like, ha, I'm so sore. So I'm gonna stretch a little bit and I'm just gonna take a walk for my exercise today because I think Not walking wouldn't be as good because you know, it's like when you're sore They say you're supposed to keep moving to help your muscles feel better. So I think a walk would be Beneficial for me. So Okay, you guys I am actually at the nail salon. I have an appointment to get my nails done 
Here is the before. They're super grown out. These were my New Year's nails. And I think I actually want to do marble for the first time. I don't think I've ever done marble. Okay, you guys, it is much later. I got to show you the nails they're like the softest marble like it almost looks like clouds it um it's definitely like hard like to do like she like mixed white and like clear and was like making it look all kind of cloudy honestly nail techs are so impressive when i was in cosmo school we had to do a nail section i sucked <laughs> my hands are way too shaky like the precision like, I've always been bad at painting my own nails, you know, like, all over the skin and cuticles. And, like, trying to do it on others, it was even worse. <laughs> so, nail techs, you guys rock. So, I just got this in PR, which was perfect timing because I'm in the mood to do, like, a little skincare moment. So, it's from Bare Minerals. It is New Ageless Phyto AHA Radiance Facial. 15 to 20 minute peel basically. It has a unique plant-based enzyme derived from mushrooms to gently exfoliate, 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 improve brightness and tone without your, in, can I talk? Can I, can I talk? And tone without irritation. It's a three-in-one peel exfoliator and mask. Vegan, dermatologist tested, gentle enough for sensitive skin, reduces the look of fine lines, discoloration, visible pores. Use up to three times a week for smooth, luminous skin. I love that. It's something I can use more than once a week. Like, it sounds like it's not going to be uh, too intense. Okay, so I'm just going to wash my skin first. And I've been rotating between my Vanny Cream and my Panoxyl because the Panoxyl is really drying because it's like an acne moisturizer or face wash. And the Vanny Cream is like just super gentle. I'm just washing my hands. So kind of go back and forth. My skin's been feeling a little dry. So I'm just going to use a little of the Vanny Cream wash to cleanse the skin. I am now on 90 Day Fiance before the 90 Days season three. It's going well. I am, I'm just completely and utterly addicted. I don't know, I'm so late on the bandwagon. Apply evenly to clean skin, 15 to 20 minutes, rinse with lukewarm water. So let's give it a whirl. Ooh, it's kind of pinky. Hmm, smells interesting. We've already got, so ooh, we're tingling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I won't freak out unless it starts to like really hurt. Let it burn. Okay, Usher, this is, I will report back in 15 to 20 minutes. All right, so I actually left it on for the full 20. It only tingled for like a minute and then it stopped. Um, and it looks like a lot of it like absorbed. Like it's almost like tacky, like almost dry now. I took off my jewelry, changed it into my sleep tank top. All right, I'm gonna wash it off or rinse it off with some warm water. Okay. Ooh, look at that nice little shine. Skin feels good, doesn't feel like irritated or anything. I'm definitely gonna be adding this into the rotation and I will keep you guys posted on if I think the results are good. I'm always about anything anti-aging, <laughs> anything to help with, you know, my post acne marks. All right, I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, y'all. Let's make a smoothie. Smoothie, smoothie, smoothie. I'm trying to like make it aesthetic. <laughs> Yarman is just laughing at me. I got everything. I got everything I need right here. Banana. Okay, so I'm in the mood for chocolate PB smoothie, which is one of my favorites. We're gonna do this perfectly ripe banana. Boogie, oogie, oogie. And then we're gonna do a tablespoon of chocolate PB2 and then a tablespoon of regular PB2. It's like the perfect kind of chocolatey peanut buttery. Ooh, I'm at the end of this. I'm just gonna throw the rest of that in there and I have to order more. Okay, so this is the key. This got me through recovering from surgery. This is an unflavored protein powder. I will link it, I get it on Amazon. Zero carbs, um, you can do a lot with it, honestly, it's kind of crazy. So one scoop of this has 25 grams of protein and I'm getting a little bit of protein from the PB2 powders as well. So it's that simple. And then I'm also going to go ahead and open up this collagen powder that I got from Vital Proteins. I really just broke the pull tab. 
Like this is just my destiny, isn't it? Is this how today's gonna be, Bubba? Yes. <laughs> I messed it up. I broke off the pull tab. What? <laughs> to get off the safety seal. What do I do? This thing wants to be difficult. Charming! Pop off. Thank you, babe. A, A, A. Mr. Muscles, Mr. Brainiac. Thank you, darling. You're okay. <laughs> oh, this has protein in it, too. We're just getting so much protein. I didn't know that this had protein in it. Holy crap, this has 18 grams of protein, yo. We're getting. <laughs> what? <laughs> 18 grams of protein, yo. <laughs> no, like we are literally like getting almost our whole day's worth. Okay, wait, let me think. 25 plus 18, 37, and then six for the PB2. That brings us to 43. Damn, 43 grams of protein. Doesn't milk have protein too? Eight grams, oh my God. We just, this, this is 51 grams of protein. Cause I'm gonna do a cup of milk, which has eight grams of protein. Oh my God. I'm sorry, but <laughs> this is so exciting. <laughs> Cause I, I, I've never done this much of a combo before. Bing bong indeed, darling. So now I'm gonna add some ice. We love our blender, by the way. This blender is bomb. It's called Beast. They have different sizes of the bottom too that you can buy. Um, and it's just like so aesthetic. It's like really good quality. It works super well. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan. I'll link it as well. Okay, so I tried it and it was missing something. I think just because it was a lot of like protein and stuff, I added another scoop of PB2 chocolate and a tiny bit of um, natural peanut butter and it's perfect because it's a big smoothie. Like this, this is gonna take me a long time to drink. So, uh, you know. It's delicious though. I really do recommend giving it a try. It's chocolatey, it's peanut buttery. It's gonna really fill you up. It's so good. So let me know if you guys try it. And since I added another scoop of PB2 and a little bit of peanut butter, we are above our protein goal for the day. So that is just amazing. So I am just filling back up our little cleaning spray that we keep in the kitchen. And I thought I would show you guys how we do it. So we got this, um, oh, it's kind of dirty. I need to clean the, clean the cleaning bottle. Um, so this is from Amazon. And then I got the labels on Etsy. I will link everything, but I love it. I got the labels as well for like our laundry stuff, just for everything just nice and minimal. I love the way it looks. And so it's a glass bottle and it's a little bit more eco-friendly because I can buy this Myers concentrate, which is, you just use so much less plastic. Like I've had this for literally months and it's, it's kind of crazy how much it lasts because I am constantly spraying the countertops and you just take a little bit of it with um, warm water and it creates your cleaning liquid. So in general, it says to do a quarter cup of this with a gallon of warm water. So I kind of honestly just eyeball it in here. I usually just do like a little cap full just because this is obviously not a gallon. But um, I find that it is like the perfect little concoction. And then I just fill it up with warm water and it's that simple. And I get this at Target, so that is how I do that, but I also do it as well for um, like window slash glass cleaner. I just cleaned up our roses, I'm trying to keep them alive. One of my best friends, Lily, is a florist and she told me to cut them at an angle so you can get more water to the stem. But yeah, all this came off. <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited. My mirror came in, yay! Um, I bought it on Amazon. It's an oversized black mirror. Okay. Um, and I wanna be able to take outfit pics. I think I'm gonna put it here, kind of behind the door. So then this will be in the background. Um, I need a big mirror for my office and I love it. it, has like a thin black outline. So we're gonna take it out of the box and then I'll show you. So I looked high and low for this like oversized black mirror. This was one of the best prices I could find. 
because like oversized mirrors are so expensive and this one was um around 300 but like a lot of them are like 700 like there's no need to buy this from like pottery barn or west elm like it's a mirror you know what i mean so oh i'm so excited My biggest fear is that it's going to be broken. <laughs> and the reason why these mirrors are so expensive, because like this one is 71 inches tall and the ones that are like 60 inches are like $100. So adding like a foot makes it so much more expensive. It's not broken? No. Yay. And here it is. I'll clean this up, but it's a perfect size. It's huge. <laughs> Are you pretending to be me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>